Hey guys, what's going on? JD Sports Zone here, and today I got my NFL wild card predictions ahead of today's NFL wild card game. Before we get into this, make sure to like and subscribe. We're on the road to 2.5k subs. Tell me what videos you guys like to see next. Tell me in the comments below who do you think is going to win and possibly what score is going to happen. But cue intro music. Alright, so the first matchup we have today is the Cincinnati Bengals versus the Las Vegas Raiders. They are playing in Cincinnati. Uh, it's the number 4 seed versus the number 5 seed. Now, uh, Bengals are definitely uh, one of the best teams in this playoff right now. Uh, they have Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, an underrated running back in Joe Mixon, possibly one of the best uh, running backs in the NFL, uh, rushed for 1,205 yards this season with 13 touchdowns, uh, Jamar Chase with over 1K receiving yards, and then we are on the Raiders side, Derek Carr finally gets his chance in the playoffs, uh, had a tremendous season. Uh, for throwing for 4,804 yards and 23 touchdowns. Uh, he has targets like Hunter Renfro and Darren Waller and one of my personal favorite uh, players of all time that I grew up watching, uh, D-Jax. But um, who I think is going to win this, this is being played at 4.30 p.m. Eastern. Um, I got the Bengals winning 23 to 17. Next matchup we got is division rivals Buffalo Bills versus the New England Patriots. Now on the Buffalo Bills side, this is being played in Buffalo. Actually one of the toughest atmospheres to play in an NFL playoff game is at Highmark Stadium. Um, but because of the Bills fan base. But on the Bills side, you got Josh Allen, who has been doing really well this season. Been a bunch of ups and downs, but threw for 4,407 yards and 36 TDs. He's got targets like Stephon Diggs, um, <clears throat> sorry, and Dawson Knox, people like them. And then you got an underrated running back, um, probably, I'd say about top 15 running back. I'm not sure top 10, but in Devin Singletary. Um, but I think the Bills definitely have a really good chance to make it to divisional. But coming up to that prediction later, um, we got on the Bill, sorry, not the Bills side, the Patriots side. Uh, you got Bill Belichick. You know, Bill Belichick had a bunch of success with uh, Tom Brady uh, winning all those Super Bowls. And, um, but he needs to focus off Tom and now focus on Mac Jones. Mac Jones needs to treat this, as I said with the Joe Bro incident, needs to treat this like an NFL playoff game, like the hardest game he's ever played in his life, even more than a college football uh, championship when he won with like Devontae Smith and Najee Harris. But, um, you know, this is a really tough game. Uh, both have really good upsides, and there are a couple downsides. I think that Patriots have a better defense. Bills have a better offense. They are 1-1 in the regular season, but I got to go with the Buffalo Bills winning 28-25 to by a field goal. That's how close it's going to be, in my opinion. The next game I got up is the Philadelphia Eagles versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And going straight to the divisional is the Philadelphia Eagles. Nah, I'm just joking. But, um, you know, you got Tom Brady. Tom Brady's a whole playoff mode. He's the best QB of all time, possibly. Um, best QB of my generation. But, and then you got Jalen Hurts, uh, who's never played in a playoff game before. Um, but you do have Fletcher Cox, and the defense has been doing really well this season. And you got first time... Well, actually not first-time playoff uh, coach, but uh, first-time playoff head coach in uh, the playoffs, Nick Sirianni. And then on Tampa Bay, you got Mike Evans, Tom Brady, Bruce Arians, uh, reigning Super Bowl champs. Uh, but Buccaneers do have a people missing. But, you know, as much as I'd like to say the Eagles, um, 
I hope Eagles win. I truly do. But I got the Buccaneers beating the Eagles 35-13. Uh, to 13. Next up, we got the Niners and the Cowboys. Uh, got the number 6 uh, 49ers versus the number 3 Cowboys. Being played at AT&T Stadium, one of the toughest places to play in a playoff game. Uh, it's going to be a crazy game, I believe. Uh, it's going to be a really close game. You know, you got Dak Prescott, Zeke, uh, CD, and then you got the 49ers, who actually played in the Super Bowl a couple years ago, uh, was close to winning, but didn't clinch it. And you got Jimmy G, Debo, and uh, like a really rookie standout, Elijah Mitchell. It's going to be a really close game, uh, guys. But, you know... Uh, Cowboys defense has been doing well. They have Super Bowl winning coach uh, Mike McCarthy, and then you got Kyle Shanahan on the other side. But I got it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be an upset. I think the Niners are gonna beat the Cowboys. It's gonna be a really, really, really close game. But I got it 24 to 30, and I got Niners winning that game. Next up, we got Steelers versus Chiefs, the number two versus the number seven seed. It's crazy because Steelers weren't even projected to make the playoffs. Doesn't that sound crazy? But, you know, you got Big Ben. It's most likely his final season. Uh, Big Ben, I think he's going to go hard for the Steelers. I think he's going to try his best. Uh, Deontay Johnson, a standout, who has done really well. This is breakout season. And you got Najee Harris. As I said before, with all these college players, um, Najee needs to treat this like it's the Super Bowl um, and go off. But then you got Patrick Mahomes and you got Tyreek Hill, Travis Kelsey, Chris Jones, Tyron Matthew. I can just name off a bunch of players. But I got, it's going to be, I don't think it's going to be that close. I think it's going to be 17 to 33. Chiefs beat Steelers. I'm sorry, Big Ben, but this is where your road ends. And congrats on a great career, Big Ben, by the way. Uh, Hall of Fame, Canton Worthy. And uh, I'd like to see what goes on, maybe for coaching in his future. God, I'm more hyped up about this than the eagles Bucks game. The Cardinals versus the Rams. Sorry. The Cardinals versus the Rams. This is crazy. Uh, you got Kyler Murray, Matthew Stafford, D Hop possible return, uh, James Conner, uh, Sony Michelle form, uh, is actually a Super Bowl winner, and uh, Cooper Cup, uh, probably one of the best receivers uh, this season. And then you got Zach Ertz, also Super Bowl winning uh, tight end. But it's going to be a really, really close game. Really, really, really close game. Um, you know, Rams did beat the Bucks. Earlier this season, not relevant yet. Cardinals did lose against the Lions. I don't know if how if that's ever gonna factor, but it's gonna be a really, really, really close game. You know, you get the number, I believe the number. What seed is the number four seed Rams, number five seed Cardinals, and um, it's gonna be a really, really close game. Uh, it's being played at SoFi Stadium, uh, Rams Stadium. You know, Matthew Stafford finally back in the playoffs after like six years when he had Calvin Johnson on his team. Um, I think he's ready to show the Rams fans why they picked him up and replaced him with Jared Goff, uh, who actually made the Super Bowl in Super Bowl 53. And you got Kyler Murray. I feel like it's experience versus inexperience. Oh, and you also got OBJ on the Rams, too, who's on a tear. Um, but really, really, really close game, high scoring game, in my opinion. Um, I'm sorry, Cardinals fans, but I think your success this season is going to end in the wild card round. I got Matthew Stafford and the Rams winning 35-31. to 31. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you for watching. Remember, we're on the road to 2.5K. What do you guys think about this video? What do you guys think about the predictions? Tell me what your predictions are in the comments below what videos you'd like to see uh watch the Bengals Raiders game at 4 p.m eastern and then the Bills and Patriots game at 8 15 eastern um but make sure to like and subscribe I'll see you next time bye